Hello, everybody. Welcome to episode 29 of Let's Play Dofa. And today I'm going to talk about leveling, which is something that um, is probably the first thing that I'm asked whenever, like, a new person comes to my guild or a low level talks to me. They're like, hey, you know, how, how should I level? Um, so... Before I do that, though, I want to apologize for not making videos the last couple of days. It has been the 4th of July weekend, um, and if you don't know what the 4th of July represents in America, it's our freedom, uh, where we get to drink beer and eat lots of cheeseburgers. I've had a disgusting amount of cheeseburgers in the last four days. Um, and as you can see, I'm not in my normal background. I am currently staying with a friend in a different state, um, and his internet doesn't like me very much, and I'm going to be impressed if I can get through this video. So let's just not waste any time. So, uh, I think when you're leveling, you fall into, like, two groups. Um, one group is people that are good at PVM, say, like, Strength IOPS, Intel Cross, Sacreers of any kind, and then people who aren't good at uh, PVM, kind of like Intel Fog or not. I mean, they're not bad, but like, say like you're an any or a rogue, and like PVM is just not an efficient way to kill things. Your PVM is not good, I guess. Um, you need another way out. Now there's the stereotype in this game that has always existed. There is so much new stuff in this game, but this has always been true. Uh, people have said, where wisdom set? Go to Connie's, uh, Kanagers until level, uh, like, 50, and then once you get to level 50, go to Frygoss and get a Frygoss Leech. That's the most efficient way to level up. And, yeah, that's a good way to level up. You don't, it's not very rewarding, in my opinion. I personally don't like Leeching, but I don't have anything, uh, against people who do, uh, because some people just want to get to the end as fast as possible. You know, that's, that's not what I want, but, um. Yeah, but that is not the most efficient way to level up, I'd say. Not necessarily true, but there's so much things that this game has added to make it more interesting, to make it more fun to level up and get EXP, but nobody's taking advantage of it. Everybody's just like, come leech me in Fragos, let's do Mastagobs, let's do uh, Kanagers. And the reason those two are so popular is because they have to walk up to you to hit you. Um, their attacks are like either one or two spaces away, so safe years can usually go to town there and just get surrounded and do damage and never die, and that's why it's so popular. But not everybody is a chance safe rear. I think that's just generally a true statement. So, uh, for people that aren't, I'd say they have two paths. So, PVM people, if you don't have a big group, if uh, going to Frygoss or Kanagers doesn't interest you, there are so many areas in this game that just people don't go to. Um, for example, the Trinid Forest, uh, the Sidamore Plains usually have 10 stars um, on all the mobs in that area. And even though without all the stars, they not, might not be as good as EXP as the other places that I mentioned before. Um, when they have stars, they're frequently better, um, and you'll get more bang for your buck. Also, if you didn't know, the closer a mob is to your level, uh, the more EXP you get from it. So, doing a massive mob of 8 when you're level 50 uh, doesn't necessarily make sense unless they're like peewees. Um, and uh, something else to know, if you use a sidekick, it actually steals EXP, so be careful with that, unless you do a big mob. Um, and, yeah, and then for non PVMers, uh, people who just take, it takes a while for them to kill things, uh, more of a support character, uh, like me, healer, buffer, or, uh, someone who's, like, a preventing character, like, I don't know, what's that class called? Ooh, it's been a rough morning, Zellor, haha. -ha. I wonder if I look really grim from this angle, there's so little light, I should have moved the shades down. Anyway, um, yeah, so something like a Zeller might have a little bit more trouble doing PVM. So, uh, for those people, 
I highly recommend Treasure Hunts. Uh, treasure Hunts, for me, give me around... Occasionally, they give me, like, 1.2 million EXP, which is a lot if it only takes you, like, 10, 20 minutes to do. Uh, they don't always do you that much. They usually, on average, give me, like, around, like, 400,000, but still a lot of EXP. Pretty good uh, if you're good at Treasure Hunts. If you're not good at Treasure Hunts or you just don't like doing them, I recommend Quests. There's a lot of quests in the game that just give you a lot of EXP if you just continually do them. Uh, for example, the Dungeon Quests, the uh, Eternal Harvest, the Dofus Quests... Um, and just any high uh, any quest that's like relatively close to your level. Uh, for example, like um, I forget what that quest is called. I'm gonna look it up real fast. Uh, there's like a lot that just get ignored, but they're probably worth doing. Um, I am lagging. Okay, it doesn't want me to open up quests, and I'm worried that my computer is gonna crash right now. So basically, look at quests uh, and see what you can do. Um, in the meantime. Uh, I'm Slobby Gaming. For the question of the day, would you like me to focus more videos on my own character and how I'm building that and how I'm using money and how I'm most efficiently getting to my perfect set? Or uh, should I do more videos of me exploring and more tutorials, etc.? So that's the question of the day. Uh, I think my computer is going to crash, so I'm going to let you go now. So anyway... Thank you very much for watching. Leave any ideas you have for videos in the comments, and I hope you have a beautiful day.